That was super smooth. I'm so happy. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing great. Yesterday was pretty much the most amazing day ever. Uh, I guess we got to start on that. Then what happened yeah. yesterday? Um, yesterday it was announced that I was awarded the Prairie Writer Award in Illinois. Yay! A round of applause for our beloved Sarah. Woo! Congratulations. You know, it's it's always a little bit strange and exciting to, to be honored, but it really, you know, yesterday just sent it all home that everything is about community. Well, like I could well, never have done anything without the community and the community cheering me on just reminded me, it was just like, yes. Yes. That's who we are. I'm, That's how we roll. I'm so excited to talk about community today. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to do my little intro, and then we're going to have a little a mini conversation. Um, a big hello to our Highlights Foundation family. We're so happy to have you here with us. For those that may not know me, I'm Kat Galliano. My pronouns are she, her. I'm the social media manager for the Highlights Foundation, joining you from Westchester, New York, on the traditional lands of the Siwanoi people. I am also a writer and a reader who is so, so excited to have this lunchtime chat with our friend and faculty, Sarah Aronson. And we'll talk a little bit about her upcoming mini course, Write the Novel Only You Can, a two-night mini, and about community, which Sarah just said is such a big thing for her and for me and for all of us at Highlights. So now, Sarah, enlighten us a little bit by sharing what you mean with write the novel only you can. Why are you so passionate about that statement? Because I love writers, <laughs> um, really. <laughs> that if, unless today is the very first day you are picking up a pencil or turning on your computer, if today is the day that you are taking a dare like I did to write, then welcome. This might be a little bit scary. Here we go. It takes a long time to write a good book. <laughs> um, it also takes feeling vulnerable. It takes time. It takes digging. It takes deleting and then reimagining. So through all of that, if it's not coming from you, from something that's really, really important to you, from something that matters to you, from, so, from something that you don't get sick of talking about, that like you start talking about it and your kids say, oh, write a book. <laughs> um, that, write a book already, mom. That, um, that, that you are gonna lose steam. That we are the beginning of the journey, each of us and what we love, what we fear, just like what we think about with our characters, mm -hmm. our misbeliefs, our, our insecurities, um, our joys, that is, the, that is the nutshell, that is the beginning, the root, the foundation of whatever your novel is gonna become. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes you're gonna stumble on something and it's gonna awaken something in you that makes you want to write about that idea that comes from you. That's what all of this is about. So when I say write the novel only you can write, I mean it. I want you to tap into your inner genius. I want you to not be afraid of who you are. I want you to think about the things that matter to you and that will sustain you and inspire you and help you play um, productively um, without having to search too far. <laughs> I love that. And as someone that has been to a couple of Sarah's courses, I can tell you she is the best cheerleader, the best friend, the best support system. So I truly invite all of you to, to step in and um, try this class because it is such a warm hug to spend time with Sarah. Even if it is online, you truly feel that energy and that cheering you know, for you. So, And I'm really... For this particular mini, I really want to, especially the first night, I want to tap into who we are and why we're there, why we want to be writers, what we have to say, and really get, get into that muck mm -hmm. of, of who we are so that we can share that with readers. Because think about who readers are. Readers are who we were once upon a time. Exactly. And we are sending out connections and love and motivation 
and, and ideas to them so that, that then they can bring new ideas to our world. For sure. I'm going to jump into our second question, which says, can you talk about an example of a theme in one of your books and how you manifested it? Well, I think the easiest um, example for me to talk about is in my 2011 book, Beyond Lucky. And I'm going to talk about a novel today because the, the course is about novel writing. When I first started writing Beyond Lucky, I wanted to write about soccer because my son was playing soccer and he, his code name was Ferdinand because he was more interested in pulling up the clover. <laughs> and I was feeling a little bit isolated. And that gave me, as we all know, the opportunity to look around at my environment and see, see what was going on. What was the energy? Why were these people gathering to do this with a bunch of three-year-olds? Right? And, and I started to tap into this idea about um, superstition. And then that led me to what athletes do to get ready for games. And then that led me to this idea of heroism. And that's when, when I realized that as a teacher, which I was a religious school teacher at the time, and as a thinker, I was obsessed with thinking about who do we put on the pedestal and who do we just take for granted? Mm -hmm. And those ideas of he regular people being heroes and heroes sometimes being, right, just regular people sort of disappointing, <laughs> started um, looking at you, Tom Brady. <laughs> um, <laughs> that, um, that those that idea then helped me to think about well why would Ari do this why it helped me see forward into the novel about what Ari wanted to do and what he had to do and his misbeliefs and how they he had to overcome them it helped me think about the secondary characters it helped me think about what was important to me not really soccer which I love, but really what was important was the journey of those characters mm -hmm. and that main character, especially beginning to feel like maybe he could be a hero and maybe he could let go of some of those superstitions. Isn't that so cool? Like you were just at your son's game and then all of a sudden something sparked something and then it just sort of rabbit holed into this whole other place. And I'm like, that's the coolest thing about, I feel like being a writer. And that's where theme and the inner genius are in lockstep, is that when you are tapped into the themes that are important to you, for me, heroism, justice, um, creativity, um, play, those ideas manifest mm -hmm. themselves into characters. And then those characters come to life in a way that allows me to sort of say what I want to say, because I'm still the boss. Sorry, <laughs> characters. <laughs> Um, I love that so much and truly like I feel like that's one of my favorite things about being a writer is just being able to write those things down and like you said be the boss of and manipulate and create and play it's just and when you're how in cool in that sandbox when you're in that sandbox and you are owning the things that matter to you so right now I'm thinking a lot about confidence in my new novel and what I realized as I was walking around and I saw this amulet that had the word certainty in another language on it. And I thought, you know, I used to think that confidence came from certainty, but it doesn't. Certainty is blind. Yeah. Certainty is a tunnel vision. What it comes from is trust. And then I was like, holy tamale, that's what my novel is about. <laughs> Write that down before you forget, because I feel like we can all relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> So weren't we in the mini, we're going to try and get to your holy tamole moment. <laughs> How wonderful. Uh, my next question and my last question is, when, we, when you are working with writers, what brings you joy about supporting them and getting their stories out there? Well, seeing somebody else have those epiphanies is just delightful. I'm addicted to it. <laughs> I love having conversations that where the writer ends up being like, yes, that's what I'm writing about. Or, oh, that's why that 
character is there, or here's this beautiful line you've written. And we call them, thank you, Jennifer Jacobson, we call these lines glimmers. And a lot of times these glimmers were the easiest lines to write. It's like they just came out of your soul. And when I circle the glimmer and I say, can we talk about this line? And then I love watching the writer's eyes like, you know, widen. And then sometimes there are tears and sometimes there, there are hugs, always there are hugs, um, and virtual or in person. <laughs> and then at that moment, we see each other. And so much of what writing is, is being able to see each other, standing in someone else's shoes. And when we can do that with our characters through our own ideas and our own emotions, like we're talking about big emotions here, and it can be scary, but when we do that together and we get excited about that, oh, like, I'm, send me your manuscripts. <laughs> I want to do that all the time. What, you know, for this, with the mini, what the mini will really get you motivated and raring to go is for a whole year of, of exploration, discovery, um, joy. Um, I believe in eating dessert first. And I think that talking about the novel that only you can write is, in a sense, what dessert is for me, is saying, um, I'm going to um, have a good time here. I am going to find my voice through my joy, through the things that matter to me. Will there be hard days? Yeah, there are going to be hard days. Are there days where I like don't know what to write? Yeah, plenty of those. <laughs> Oh, well, like, but the core is there because we are, because we're doing this together. And that for me in working with others um, really just is so rewarding. And I am so grateful to all the writers who have trusted me um, to have these conversations and to show me their inner voices, their inner children, their inner genius, their views of the world. What a wonderful, what a lucky person I am. Oh, I mean, I, I'm so touched. I'm so moved. I'm like, do we have to end this conversation soon? Like, I could just talk to you forever. I know. And I, I we think talk more often. <laughs> for real, for real. I, I second that. But I also want to stress on like the, at, at the beginning of our conversation, you talked about community. And I feel like so many of us as writers, we forget that, um, sure, writing is solitary and sure, you know, you it's you and your computer or your pen and paper, but community is really what makes all of this matter, like the community of your writers, the community of your other writer friends, of the community and writing with other writers. So I feel like this mini is sort of a perfect beginning of the year it's, um, step into, it's a jump, you know. Jump start into community. And we really, like, if you don't have a community right now, if you are a person who wants to write and you don't have someone who you can trust, just, can you shoot me an email? <laughs> let's find, let's let's find some people because the community these conversations these times where we gather together where we where we experience that trust again trust is the whole thing it's the exploration you trust yourself and you trust others and when you do that we all win so we we all we all find our stories we do that because books in that it you know, basically books are a discussion. Books are a conversation. They're enlightening, they're rewarding, they're terrifying, they're, they're hilarious. Um, they're true, they're made up. They make us think, they make us feel. And so we should be doing that now in our communities um, to help each other find our own truths. When we can find our own truths together, we all win. So um, let's, you know, let's do that. Definitely. Um, before I, you know, do our outro, is there anything else you want to mention to our friends and those that are those that are here with us live and those that will be watching later? Anything else you want to mention before we wrap up? I just want to say that, like, how much I love and appreciate Highlights Foundation for creating these opportunities for me and for others. Um, all of us need a place, a safe place where we can explore. And Highlights has been that place for me. Um, I welcome you to join me there. Um, 
if this mini doesn't work out for another retreat or just to be on campus where let's think ahead and dream big and think about a whole novel <laughs> um, <laughs> that um that this place this magic place has been designed to help you find your truth and your story so take advantage of it um join us um gather together begin the conversation um we honor you at highlights we honor who you are what you want to say and how you want to say it oh man sarah thank you definitely and i second that as someone that works for highlights as a writer myself as someone that was a scholarship recipient i second all of that so um highlights is a very special place and we welcome you in in this mini and another mini in um and in person we welcome you everyone is welcomed um in our family um and i'm going to wrap it up because time is running out but you know you can still see Sarah in a couple weeks. That's right. <laughs> um, I, will not, I will not be wearing the sparkles, though. <laughs> I wore them today. I say sparkles <laughs> never go out of style. I say never. sparkles should just run through the whole year. <laughs> but if you'd like to learn more from Sarah, register for her two-night mini, Write the Novel Only You Can, uh, taking place January 16th and 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you cannot come to the course live, please still register. You will get the, rec uh, the recorded, um, the recordings by email. And um, as soon as the course ends, you will receive all of those by email. Um, and you will have um, about a month and a half to watch all the materials. Um, her books are also available to purchase at our virtual bookshop powered by bookshop.org. And thank you, Sarah, for joining us today. Cannot wait to see you online. I know I'll definitely be watching this mini and tuning in because I'm so excited to kick the year off with new energy and a warm virtual hug from Sarah makes everything better. <laughs> Thank you so much. I promise this is going to be a fun mini with lots of writing prompts. So we're, just, we're going to get out of that comfort zone and reach, reach, groan, and get excited. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone, for joining Bye. us. Bye. Bye.